The Dolphins will take the snap from the 35. And Parker has a reception. Gains 18. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. The receiver comes down with it. Somehow he outbattles him for the catch. Here's the group that perhaps has the game's biggest assignment, the offensive line. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make a play. First and ten. This defensive lineup is a quick one, led by linebacker Sean Weatherspoon. Well, the University of Missouri has been turning down some pro football players over the last four or five years. And Sean Weatherspoon, just another one in a long... Brings it in for the score in the end zone. That's a terrific start for this team, Phil, with the early touchdown. Yeah, just the way they planned it, man. You get in there during the week, you practice, you look at all that all that film, and then you say, here's going to be our starting place for the game. You go out there, you run them, and you score. That is a great feeling. Pass interference, defense. The Dolphins line up now for the point after. Throw it over the middle. It's intercepted! They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. The Cardinals are ready to return to kickoff. And Delmas there that time for the tackle. That returns good for about 23. And Davis is heading out now for his first series. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. The Cardinals come out. Jumbo package on the field. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. Let's set the lineups now for the offense. DeAndre Hopkins, a former first-round pick out of Clemson. He was a steal, Jim, with the 27th pick of the draft. Very productive last year. Tough, good blocker in the run game, and he can make those contested catches. Who has it? It's the offense with the catch. Unbelievable. Partner. I think a lot of us need to get our eyes checked. That looked like an interception. Man, speak for yourself. Yeah, the play was close, but if there's a tie, just like in baseball, it goes to the receiver. At that time, I think it was a tie. Midway through the first. Touchdown. Arizona Cardinals. Still, I think the prettiest play in football is anytime you see a deep ball thrown down the field and it's caught for a touchdown, that is awesome stuff. Ball is out. That hurts. The two point try is denied. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Delmas is going to start his return. Ball is out. A huge turn of events. The ball's going back the other way. And Delmas, the injured player, and will take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down at the 32. Davis 
Bryce's job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It fooled the defense, and they get the completion. When linebackers move around like this, you know what it means? Nothing confuses no one. Breaks the long run for the touchdown. You can't block them all, that's for sure. Sometimes you got to leave up the running back to break a tackle. He did that time, and he gets a touchdown run out of it. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick return. Davis got a chance for a return. Ball is out. They pick up the loose ball, and here they go. Davis is the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. The winning the field position battle right here as they start the next drive. The Cardinals take it from the 33. Davis now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. Sometimes, as a quarterback, you just misjudge the talent on the other side. And what a play by the linebacker picking off the pass. What a pair of hands also. The Dolphins take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? Second down and nine. It's caught by Kenny Stills. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. He reaches up and grabs it. Incredible catch there by the receiver as he goes vertical and comes down with the football and the catch. We see these incredible catches every single week. Right now, the most talented guys in the NFL might be the wide receivers. They can just do everything. Run, jump, run routes, and make these incredible catches. Tannehill's now completed four in a row. Can you believe how vertical he got there? I can believe it, Jim Nance. I can because we see it so often. The receivers in the NFL are just unbelievable. We take these catches. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. First down at the 22. Touchdown, Miami. That's his second touchdown today. Early in the second quarter, and they've staked themselves to the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, listen, don't start looking at that scoreboard, though. It's too early in the game. You just got to keep playing. Don't worry about winning and losing, but it's nice to be on top. Nice job by the defense that time, stopping the two-point conversion. It is so tough from the two-yard line. So many things to think about on the defensive side, but they were ready that time. to pull off the onside kick. The hands team comes away with the football.
The Cardinals are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense... Intercepted! There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. The Dolphins offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right plays. It's the old Marino play. A fake spike and looking to throw. Hot catch. Touchdown, Dolphins. Touchdown number three on the game. They continue to pour it on early in the second quarter with yet another touchdown here, Phil. Well, I hope the defense learned a little something on that drive. The way they are playing is not working. So you are allowed to blitz in this league. You can take a chance. That's what I suggest. Get after it. Be more aggressive and blitz that offense. Put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and he got in the end zone, like you said. He got that two points. He's got a chance to return this one. The ball is fumbled. Picking up the fumble, and now he's on the move. That return's good for about 34. Always hustle on the kick teams and always be alert. That football came loose. What a job by the kicking team falling on it, getting that fumble. Really good field position here to start this drive. First down at the 33. Deion Sims hauls it in. The Dolphins are up right now, and credit goes to the quarterback here, partner. Tannehill's on fire. It's an awesome feeling as a quarterback to be in rhythm, to get people open and have time to throw the football down the field. That's why they're winning, Jim. You said it right. The quarterback is hot. And they score again here to pad the lead. We're halfway through the second quarter, and they're threatening to turn the rest of this game into a snooze fest, Bill. Yeah, they are. Boy, they have really been impressive here at the start. I say this to the, to the team that's losing. Find a way to get some courage and have some pride and find a way to get back into this game. He'll have a chance to take off. All is out. Robinson's there to make the stop. That returns good for about 33. One of the reasons why you put all those fast guys on your kicking team so when that football comes loose like it did then, your guys can react and recover the fumble. Great starting position here for the offense. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. First down at the 33. And that's a gain of nine. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. Second and one. Parker's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. That's his fourth catch of the day. Well, he's got talent. This receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way. And I think his talent, the way offenses are designed, and the rules of the NFL, it makes guys like him almost unstoppable. Another touchdown to increase the lead. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. And that's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. Hey, I like to play. Really creative thought process there. And the offense caught the defense by surprise. The Dolphins setting up now, trying to recover an onside kick. That kick came. Ball's on the ground. 
Makes contact with the down player, and that's where the play comes to an end. It'll be interesting to see after that fumble by the kick return team, will we still have the same returner when they come back out of the field? I don't think so. That was a big mistake. I think they need a replacement. The Cardinals offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. Ellington still down. So we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. at the 29-yard line. The Cardinals signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. Now inside the 30 at the 29. First down and 10. Handoff. Slashes to the left side. Tlaib's going to make the tackle. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. The defensive line now shifting to a spread look. They're going to try to pressure the quarterback on this play. Tlaib's there to make the tackle. <laughs> Quickly to the line. Here we go. Here we go. It's a spike. No, it's a fake. Makes the reception. Jenkins is there to make the tackle. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Davis, completion percentage, 70% on the day. Hopkins taken down. Good job by the defense that time. Stopping him inches short of the goal line. Big play. And Davis is now completed four in a row. Vernon gets to the quarterback. Mercifully, the first half has come to an end. We have a blowout on our hands here today. Larry is coming up with some very one-sided highlights. The second half kickoff is a comeback in the cards in this one-sided affair. The ball is jarred loose. He's brought to a halt. That returner, when he goes to the sideline, I promise you that special teams coach is going to rip him a new one. Hold on to the football. Lucky to get it back after that fumble. The Cardinals offense trots out onto the field, looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far. The pass is intercepted. Rodgers, the one who brings them to the ground. You thought maybe this offense would have come out of the locker room a little more focused, Phil, but they come out and continue with their mistakes, this time a pick. I think they have the focus, Jim. I just think it's it's the fact that they're playing a very good football team. This offense, they're young. They need more experience. So just keep playing, and times will get better. Coming in, the hype around this one with these two quarterback was enormous, but only one has had a solid game. Well, listen, even though as a quarterback, you don't go out there in the field and play against the opposing quarterback, you are competing against him, and you want to do better than he does, and you want to win, but that's not the case here today. One guy's really struggling. Tannehill's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Peterson that time on the tackle. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. Flag is out. Picks up about two. Offside. Defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The D-line now shifted into a spread look. They are getting ready to rush that quarterback. Another takeaway. Tackles made.
Even with the big lead, you never want to give a team a reason to believe, especially coming right out of the half. Oh, absolutely. Why give the other team a little hope? I mean, you can run the ball every play and then just punt it and then dare their offense to try to score. Now you give up the turnover. That was just terrible by the offense. The Dolphins defense buckled down the last time and got the takeaway on the interception. Yeah, give the players some credit, but also give the coaching staff a lot of credit. They were called aggressive defenses, and when you keep being aggressive on the defensive side, sooner or later, you're going to get that turnover. The Dolphins defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line, and they tackle the runner for a loss. The Cardinals break huddle and show a jumbo look. The Cardinals now move the chains. That's reception number two for him. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Jones all over that offense and brings him down. Offside defense. The defense a little jumpy right there. First half. Let's round, let's round. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 25. Tackle at the 29 yard line. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting and they hold the running back to a short game. The Cardinals have it at the 29. Wants to go deep. Complete to Hopkins. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. That's a gain of eight. The Cardinals, they believe in their offense. They know once they get inside the red zone, they can run or throw. That time they run the football, and it picks up some good solid yards. Great job. What a catch. Touchdown. Call me crazy, Phil. It's the late third, but maybe this is the start of an epic comeback. Well, Jim, you're crazy. You said call you crazy, so I'm just saying it. You are crazy. But to answer your question, I don't think this game is over. We've seen miracles before. Maybe this is the start of one right here. The Cardinals getting ready to kick it off. Williams got a chance to return this one. That returns good for about 19. The Dolphins just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get they're going to be forgiving to a point but you got to be smart you got to be efficient and get the job done can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is he is he is is it what's the phrase for it he is money jim nance man he pays off every single time you throw the football near him he'll make the catch they bring in the extra tight end the final quarter begins with this snap underneath but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete well the defense has got to love that they love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm that time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete Tannehill's unable to connect that time third long coming up you're losing by a couple scores on the defensive side you must know the offense is not going to take a chance so be aggressive and maybe get lucky and get a turnover has to extend for that one and he's got it how about how high he went up in the air to get that one unbelievable job that time and again 
that's part of every offense now in the NFL. It wasn't like that when I played. We didn't have guys that could go up and make catches like that. Now first and ten. Miller's fumble. Recovery by the offense. They bring him to the turf. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it, keep possession of the football. The Dolphins have it at the 29. Sims has got it on a pass that had some heat. That's another reception, giving him two. Well, that's a good route that time by the receiver. They call that a post route, and they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post. Nice throw and catch. Sturgis will line up for the field goal try. Jay Ajaya has the catch. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. First and goal. Second and goal from the four. Sims makes the catch. In the end, it picks up only a yard. We know what they're going to do. They're not going to try to run the score up here, but they're also going to protect themselves, so they're going to run the play and try to block you. It's up to the defense to stop. Third and goal from the three. Deion Sims hauls it in. Good job that time by the quarterback. you got a lead in the fourth quarter. Don't take chances. Nobody open down the field, so he throws it. Shoot balls out is picked up and now he's taking it back the other way well I know who's happy right now Jim that's the guy who fumbled the football very lucky that one of his teammates jumped on that football and recovered it inside their own 20. the Cardinals head onto the field here Phil looking for anything positive after what has truly been a disappointing performance all around I think when you have games like this and you're behind and it's just not gone well for you all day then you just try to get the game over with even though you're losing because if you keep forcing the issue and trying to make plays, all that can happen is probably bad, and you don't want to get anybody hurt in this situation. They'll just spike it right here. No, wait, it's, it's a fake spike, and they're going to throw. Ball comes out. A recovery by the defense. Bill, can you believe how untimely a fumble we just saw? I, you know, Jim, I cannot believe it. Here's why. Because you know in a situation like this, the first thought in your mind is you can't fumble the ball, and they did anyway. That's Campbell making the stop. Well, that's just the right call to make in this situation. Just run the football. Don't try to be some genius and catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game over with. Second down following the run. The Dolphins line up, split backfield. And now Tannehill's going to take off. Kenny Stills has the reception. The Dolphins call the timeout. They're first. First down, offense readying for the snap. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Miller's got it on the handoff. They'll mark him at the 28. 
Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle, as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. The Dolphins take it from the 28. It's caught by Devontae Parker. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. That timeout by the offense. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. This will be ruled incomplete. Didn't get the feet down. The Cardinals call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. Second down following that incompletion. There is a flag out. Touchdown. They're just running it up. Offside, defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. And a flag comes out. Takes the hit. Rose. Offside. Defense. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Offside. Defense. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. First and goal. There's a flag out. Touchdown, Miami Dolphins. Parker's got his third touchdown of the game. Offside, defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. and goal from the one. Tannehill's taking off. Another interception. Offside. Defense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. for error from just outside the goal line. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. Offside. Defense. The defense. A little jumpy right there. First and goal. On flag. It's batted down. Offside. Defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. First and goal to go. Going to be a... Wow, what a time. Touchdown near the end of this one. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. Dolphins for the extra point.
Safarian Jenkins. Got a touchdown. Got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Phil, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.